Okay, let's look. The pub is pleasant and cheerful. Lots of pleasant people. There's lots of be beer standing here. There's a barman sitting at the bar. Drink the beer, urges forward. It will help cushion your system against the coming shock of the matter transference beer. Beam. Drink beer. It is really, it is really very pleasant stuff with a very good dry nutty flavor. Some light froth on top and a deep color. It is as exactly room it is exactly room temperature. You reflect upon that you reflect that the world cannot be all bad when there are such pleasures in it. Ford mentions that the world is going to end in about twelve minutes. Okay. Um Save as pub. Okay. Look, the pub is pleasant and cheerful and full of pleasant and cheerful people who don't know they're about to, they've got 12 minutes to live. Uh, Ford Prefect is here. There's lots of beer here. There's a barman standing in the bar. Drink the beer, urges forward. Drink the beer. Drink the beer. There's a distinct crash, which Ford explains is nothing to worry about. Probably just your house being knocked down. Look. Behind the bar is a shelf. It is full of sort of items you find on shelves behind bars and pubs. Look at bar. There's something in the bar. Look at shelves. On the shelf, behind the bar is usual array of bottles, glasses, and soggy beer mats. Some packets of peanuts and plate of uninviting cheese sandwiches. Order peanuts. However much, your, however, however much you clear your throat, where you weave your forefinger or wiggle your eyebrows, the barman pays no attention, but carries on wiping it on another part of the, the, the bar. Ask for cheese sandwiches. Speak to uh, Barman. Okay, what should I do next? Take towel. Taken. Buy cheese sandwiches. The barman gives you a cheese sandwich. The bread is like the stuff that stereos come packed in. The cheese would be great for rubbing out spelling mistakes. And margarine and pickle have performed an unedifying chemical reaction to produce something that shouldn't be, but is turquoise. Since it is clearly unfit for human consumption, you are grateful to be charged only a pound for it. Buy peanuts. I misspell peanuts. <laughs> Buy peanuts. However much you clear your throat, wave your forefinger, wiggle your eyebrow, the barman pays all attention. Look. There's a lot of beer here. There's a barman serving at the bar. <sighs> Drink three pints of beer. Drink beer. You can hear the muffled noise of your home being demolished and the taste of the beer sours in your mouth. You get drunk and have a terrific time for 12 minutes. Are the life and sour soul of the pub. Tell some really good stories, make everyone laugh a lot, and they all clap you on the back and tell you what 
A great chap you are, and then the earth gets unexpectedly demolished. You wake up with a hangover which lasts for all eternity. We're about to give you a score. Put on your peril sensitive sunglasses now. Enter. 30 out of 100. Restore, please. Restore the pub area. Let's see. Buy sandwich. Drink the bird beer urges for it. It will it will help cushion your system against the coming shock of the matter transference beam. Drink beer. There is a distant crash, which Ford explains is nothing to worry about. Probably just your house being knocked down. So save our game. As pub. Go east. Country Lane, you see the huge bulldozer heaving itself among the cloud of brick dust, which is all, all that remains of your home. As you start up, up the lane, a small dog runs up to you, yapping. Ford hurries to you, after you. Give dog... Give dog cheese sandwich. The dog is deeply moved. With powerful sweeps in its, of its tail, it indicates that it, that it regards the cheese sandwich as one of the great cheese sandwiches. Nine out of ten pet owners would could happen by this at this point, expressing any preference they pleased. But this dog would spurn both them and all their tins. This is a dog which has met its main sandwich. It eats with passion and ignores a passing microscopic space fleet. <laughs> microscopic. <laughs> Save our game as back to Arthur's house. Look, Julian, the road runs from your home to the north. Toward the village pub to the west. Ford Prefect is here. There is a dog here. Let's dive in front of house. Front of house. There is no. East, south, southeast, southwest, north, front of house. Mr. Foster from the local council is standing on the other side of the bulldozer. Seems to be wearing a digital watch. Ford hurries after you. front of house there is a huge pile of rubble to the north a path leads around it to the northeast and northwest and a country lane is visible to the south Fort prefect is here mr. Prosser from the local council is standing on the other side of the bulldozer he seems to be wearing a digital watch all right what do we do now uh, look at Ford you see nothing special about Ford Prefect. With a noise like a cross between Led Zeppelin's farewell concert and the eruption of Krakatoa, a huge fleet of Vogon constructor ships flies overhead and announces that the Earth will be demolished to make way for a new hyperspace bypass in two of your Earth minutes. In all the turmoil, you drop the thing your aunt gave you, which you don't know what it is, and it rolls away. It is the least of your worries. And anyway, you've been trying to get rid of it for four, four years. Okay, let's look. Um, 
Mr. Prosser from the local council 